core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome. My name is Chinyari Ikeoreke. Details of the news. As part of activities lined up to mark his 24 months as governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Saludo has commissioned the 2.3 kilometers Niger Street and 2.8 kilometers Port Harcourt Road, both in Onicha. Niger Street is a link road from Bridgehead Onicha as it to main market Onicha, which is the biggest market in West Africa. Government House correspondent Ejiki Abana filed the report. Roads are part of the over 20 completed roads across the state, representing 247 kilometers out of the 450 kilometers so far awarded and under construction. Governor Soludo disclosed that the roads have been completed for some months now and explained that his administration is deliberate about breathing life back into Onisha, which had been unfortunately down for a long time due to decades of neglect. Today is a happy day. Let me tell you, I am not a fan of um, this commissioning. I, I just like to get the job done. Absolutely. The governor noted that Onisha is the biggest city in the state, pointing out that if the city doesn't work, Anambra and the southeast will not work, while describing the roads as both critical and strategic. Governor Saludo recalled that the roads used to be muddy during every rainy season before the intervention of his administration. He stated that concerted efforts against touts and touting are yielding positive results as people are finally coming back to our nature to do business. Governor Soludo stressed that everybody has the duty to protect and preserve the road by keeping it clean at all times, stressing that government should be for the poor and more suffering should not be inflicted on the poor through heavy taxation, reiterating that the days of collection of levies from hawkers and others are gone. Earlier, the chairman of Anambra State Market Amalgamated Traders Association, Asmata, Chief Humphrey Anuna, said that the governor is doing well and described Niger Street as the major road into Mem Market, noting that the road is qualitative and assured that as market people, they will keep playing their part to support the present administration. For the Commissioner for Special Duties, Honorable Beverly Ibazun Kemdiche, who is also an indigenous of Onisha South local government area where the two road projects are cited said the two roads have made the people of the areas to heave a sigh of relief adding that the economic impact of the two roads are already being felt also speaking the contractors of the project fcc and tec engineering limited guaranteed that the roads will last and appreciated the governor for the opportunity to construct the roads cutting of the tape by kk riders shuttle bus drivers and the clergy formed the high point of the event. In line with Governor Soludo's mantra of technology everywhere and everything technology, 2,000 head teachers and principals of public schools and public mission schools have benefited from the state government's free distribution of laptops. Governor Chukma Saludo performed the first phase of the distribution of the laptop at the International Convention Center, OCA. Again, Government House Correspondent Eji Kabana filed the report. The governor, his administration is aspiring to reposition Anambra Public Schools to become smart, calling on the head teachers to also aspire to become smart. The governor assured of working out a structured training program that will enable teachers key into cutting edge technology and emphasized that as resources continue to improve, more people will benefit from the intervention. The governor, who revealed that as a result of the free education in the state, enrollment in public schools in Anambra has gone up to about 20%, expressing confidence that the enrollment percentage will still go up. He assured that his administration will continue to place great importance on quality of teachers and quality of teaching, leveraging partnership with the private sector and communities as government cannot do development work alone. is technology everywhere and everything technology. We will begin as resources continue to be available. We will continue to prioritize work tools for our teachers and for our students. 
While stating that the initiative ties into the six comprehensive pillars of education, the Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngozi Chumude, described the event as epoch-making in the history of the state, noting that the education family is the most favored in the present administration. In human capital development, we all know we are all part of it. As men, as women, examination looking for the best teachers. He is particularly concerned about the quality of teachers and the quality of teaching in Anambra State. In her speech, the chairperson of Post-Primary School Services Commission, Professor Nkechi Kedugu, who described the governor as being compassionate to principals, teachers and students, announced that approval has been secured to equip laboratory in schools. When we are talking about education in his manifesto, one of the things he said is that he's going to equip all the secondary schools in Anambra State. And today, we are witnessing it. Thank you, Mr. Also speaking, the chairperson of Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board, Dr. Vera Nwadinobi, said that the initiative is in line with the governor's promise of equipping the schools with government laptops, as well as facilitate access to Wi-Fi as the transformation agenda seeks to position public schools in Anambra as models. The Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dr. Onye Kachikui Bezimu, has encouraged university students in the state to key into the numerous free skill acquisition training provided for the youth by the Governor Chukuma Soludo's led administration in order to be self-reliant upon graduation. Dr. Bezimu gave the encouragement at Chapel of Redemption Anglican Church, Namdi Azikiwe University, Oka. Emmanuel Okonko reports. Governor who pointed out that the present economic situation in Nigeria is not what the youths will survive without recreative skills said that students in Anambra should avail themselves of the opportunity to be part of the beneficiaries of the scheme. He told the youths that they can assess the scheme through the Solution Innovation Hub Office, Agwoka, or the Anambra State Ministry of Youth Empowerment. Dr. Ibezim urged parents to encourage their children to learn one or more skills so that they will not only survive the hard time in Nigeria presently, but also be useful to themselves, their families, and the society in general. Dr. Ibezim assured them that the leadership of Governor Suludo will continue to do the needful to ensure that the youths are meaningfully engaged. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News. The Anambra State Government has re-emphasized its commitment to eliminating all forms of touting activities and illegal collection of levies in the state. The Managing Director of Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra or Char Brigade, Comrade Celestine Anere, stated this when a group of commercial bus drivers from Onicha paid him a courtesy visit at his office in Oka. Correspondent Chibuzo Obidike filed the report. Addressing the group, the Ocha Brigade boss thanked them for speaking with one voice and made it known that the state government is determined to eradicate all forms of illegalities in the state and promote easy ways of doing business. He assured the drivers that Ocha Brigade will be on surveillance round the clock in order to outsmart the antics of illegal revenue collectors in the state. On the key complaints against some security personnel and road traffic workers, Mr. Anere assured drivers that he will bring the issue to the attention of all relevant authorities to ensure that bad eggs are flushed out of the system and prosecuted accordingly under the law. The state will protect them from their work, uh, whoever that is stopping them from doing their business. So you know, when you eliminate all the towels, these drivers won't complain anymore. So we'll do all we can to make sure that uh, we eliminate all kinds of uh, problems they have while 
doing their businesses. Speaking, some of the drivers, Mr. Afamefuna Oba, Uchenna Okorie, and Tochuku Aniaboso, individually thanked Governor Chuku Masoludo for his exploits in road construction, which they said is a clear indication that their taxes are at work, but lamented the untold hardship being meted on them by some security and traffic personnel who they are accused of extorting money from them. According to the drivers, there is need for a monitoring team to checkmate the activities of the law enforcement officers who are compromising the system in order to achieve personal goals. I appreciate it. Hey, I, I, I mean, to say thank you to Mbaba because we have seen we are at high going. So we tell others to be, continue to be tasks so that the Mr. Brown will continue. In a vote of thanks, a community stakeholder from Oka, Mr. Osita Obi, enjoined the commercial drivers to maintain regular payment of their taxes and revenue in order to continue to receive good dividends of democracy, among others. The popular saying that teacher's reward is in heaven has been proven wrong by Mrs. Blessing David, who has excelled in academics by rising from home teacher to becoming a school proprietor. Chukwemeka Modelemo reports. It's after she paid a costly visit to the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Sachido Obidegu, in his office, alongside some pupils of her school. Mrs. David explained that she delved into home teaching out of her passion for teaching job. She said her dedication to the teaching profession and the quality of knowledge she impacted on her purpose. Going into teaching or teaching is just like going into human investment, like investing in humans, like especially kids like this. Helped them to improve academically. Mrs. David revealed that when the home teaching exercise grew beyond her imagination, she established her own private school with the help of some parents, adding that the school is doing pretty well presently. Apart from being a school proprietor, Mrs. David said she had authored eight books, including Miracle Sea, Abuse of Rights, among others. She charged young people to venture into the teaching profession with passion for them to reap their reward here on earth and also in heaven after their sojourn on earth. The school proprietor also urged teachers to always think outside the bus by writing books about what is happening around them as it will add to building a better future generation of leaders. In Oka, Chukwe Meka, Modelim, ABS News. On national matters, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has transmitted the student loans bill to the House of Representatives for consideration. He, the President, transmitted the bill through a letter addressed to the Speaker Abbas Tajuddin today. Reading the letter at the plenary, Abbas said the Student Loan Asset High Education Repel and re Bill 2024 seek to enhance the implementation of the Higher Education Student Loan Scheme by addressing challenges related to the management structure of the Nigerian Education loan fund. Applicant el eligibility requirements include loan purpose, funding sources and disbursement and repayment procedures. He hopes that the submission will receive the usual expenditures consideration of the House of Representatives. On the foreign scene, the United States House of Representatives has overwhelmingly passed a bill that could eventually ban the social media platform TikTok in the country. The bill received resoundingly by bipartisan re report with vote of 352 to 65 in favor, it now heads to the 100-member Senate where its prospects are less clear. For his part, President Joe Biden has said he will sign the bill into law if it reached his desk. According to the report, if that happened, TikTok's Chinese owner, ByteDance, will be given six months to re divest from its U.S. assets or see its video sharing a ban in the U.S. The legislation seems from concern that, that Biden is beholden to be Chinese government, while government officials have expressed fear that the data TikTok collects from its roughly 170 million American users could pose a national security threat. ByteDance, however, has repeatedly maintained that it operates independently of the Chinese government. It was fun and incitement for students and teachers at the Binary Interhouse Sport Competition for St. 
Paul's University Secondary School, Nibonise. The sporting event started on a cheerful note after a beautiful rendition of the national anthem as contingents of the different houses flew their mar or flags in anticipation of victory. Chibuzo Obidike now reports. Fiesta featured competitions in 100, 200, and 400 meters, sack race, match pass, badminton, among others. Congratulating the students, the president of Mothers Union and Girls Guide, province of the Niger, Dr. Chioma Ibezim, represented by Reverend Canon Jonathan Iboni, acknowledged the great work the staff and management of the school are doing in reshaping the future of the students and encouraged parents to appreciate and nurture their children's talents with pride in getting the best out of the students. We thank God for what they have done today and with this talent they have showcased today we know that the school has a future and so we appreciate God for talents that have been displayed here and so talents will continue to be harnessed and showcased and trusting God that they will not end here they will continue to manifest this talent anywhere they in are. In his welcome in Jesus address, name. the principal of the school, Reverend Canon Joseph Onyibo, appreciated the proprietor of the school, the Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, for his investment and support in the management of life and destiny of young men and women in the school, and pointed out that the school, through the introduction of regular seminars anchored by seasoned educational professionals, has become a pace setter. He appealed for sponsorship in the area of security, solar lights, renovation of hostels, and construction of bonhole with overhead water tank, among others. Students can develop their IQ greatly from engaging in regular physical activities by the amount of learned knowledge, skill, and abilities also increase significantly. As educators, it is our responsibility to provide students with opportunities to participate in sports as we are doing today. The chairman on the occasion, Sir Frank Onwudi Iwobi, who record the memories the event brought to him in his days in school, charged schools to invest more in sporting activities in order to discover the individual talents of the students. Especially in this poor university, I go mess, I found I ban, then we're body, and where do want to be news? Well, I'll be our point of being a Well, now, see, come out one. Mr. <laughs> At the end of the 2024 annual Interhouse Sports Competition, the Yellow House came top with 97 aggregate points, while Red House took second position with 56 points, and the Green House settled for third position with 28 points above Blue House, sitting at the bottom of this year's edition. From St. Paul University Secondary School, Nibo Nise, in Oka South Local Government Area, Chibuzo Bidike, ABS News. That's the size of our package tonight. But remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. On X at ABS Radio TV. On Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. A recap of the major story. Governor Soludo has commissioned two roads projects in Onicha. Dr. Ibezimu has urged students to key into free skill acquisition training of the state government. President Tunubu has transmitted student loan bill to House of Representatives for consideration. U.S. is to ban TikTok amid national security concern. To end the news, here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Thanks for watching. My name is Chinyere Ikioreke. Good night.
Thanks for me.